everybody. Uh, I am honored to welcome you on behalf of the study in Slovenia team. We are glad that so many of you joined us today's presentation. We are aware that it's not probably easy to leave home to study in a foreign country. And in order to help you start your study in Slovenia, we have prepared this event especially for you. During today's presentation, we will present the study possibilities at the University of Ljubljana, the University of Maribor, the University of Primorska, and the University of Nova Gorica. We will be available for your questions after all presentations. During presentations, you can write your questions in the Q&A sections and we will answer you already during presentation. The presentation will be also recorded and published on our website. We will share it with you and send it, this presentation to your email address. We believe that students are the heart of our community and the motivation of our faculty and staff. We are encouraged to learn from each other and from the variety of possibilities offered by study, social, cultural, recreational, sports and extracurricular activities in our diverse academic communities. We all look forward to have as many students as possible from other countries. For us, you are ambassadors of friendships in relations between your countries and Slovenia. And that is why we also invite you to this presentation to our students. And I would like to welcome Wu Yehao and Zhang Ruiji. They are coming from China, where it's almost midnight there. So thank you for joining us. And Wu and Zhang are both students at the Beijing Foreign Studies University, where they study Slovene language. They both took the opportunity and came to Slovenia as an exchange student for two semesters. And in the continuation, they will present you their experience about studying and living in Slovenia, and they will also share with you some useful advice. So, Wu, please. Thank you for your kind introduction. So, dear professors, teachers, and fellow students, I'm Wu Jiehao from China, and my major is Slovenian Language and Literature, and I just ended my exchange as a sophomore in the Faculty of Arts, University of Ljubljana. So, first, I would like to thank you all for inviting me and offering me this opportunity to share with you my experience of studying in Slovenia as an international exchange student. If I were asked to describe my experience in Slovenia, I would say it was enjoyable, meaningful, and successful. Firstly, my exchange is definitely enjoyable. Students in Slovenia are provided with subsidized meals and special discounts on transportation, which helps students save much money. Living expenses are much lower than most Western Europe countries. Besides, we are encouraged to do student work in our free time. There are many opportunities on students' websites, and it's a pity that I didn't choose one of them, but I saw many people around me work and get benefits from these works. I think it's good for college students to have some work experience in advance so that we can be well prepared for our future jobs. From another perspective, University has done a lot of preparations for us. It's usually hard to find a nice apartment in capital Ljubljana, but faculty had provided much useful information for us. And thanks to the bilateral agreement, we had health insurance and free dormitories so that we don't need to suffer from looking for a good apartment. And I remember that my classmates and I arrived at Slovenia about one week later, so we are kind of behind the schedule and we missed the opening comp uh, the party and one week class. And thanks to the tutor project, we hardly miss anything. Our tutors helped us a lot with the adaptation to study and live in Slovenia. And we smoothly went through the procedure and started our new life in Ljubljana. So that's the first part. And secondly, my exchange it's really meaningful. 
I feel really grateful for this valuable chance to live in a foreign country. The most important thing is that my Slovenian has been much improved. Learning Slovenian is never an easy thing for us, especially for Asians. But living in Slovenia helps to create a language environment that I can immerse myself into. And it's really beneficial to language learning. By the way, my English is also better now. And in addition, my comprehensive quality has been improved. For example, I updated my cooking skills during the pandemic and I became better at self-discipline and self-control. Also, I learned a lot about Slovenia and Europe. Slovenia is not as uh, famous as France or Germany, but it definitely has its own glamour. Slovenia education system is very different from Chinese one. As far as I know, that university students in Slovenia enjoy more flexibilities on arrangement of their study schedules. For example, they can have exams for more times and choose more courses depending on their interests. And in class, Slovenian teachers prefer to teach us through different activities or games. And the class atmosphere is happy and relaxing. Besides, I'm really impressed by the integration of Europe. For example, I think the Elamos program is really good. It enables students in European uh, Union to study in different countries. It's good for students to broaden their horizons and learn more about different cultures. And with the Schengen visa, I could travel freely to most European countries. And I did travel a lot during my exchange and I really miss those beautiful moments in travels. And what's more, I made many friends during my exchange and I feel really happy about it. So thirdly, my exchange is really meaningful. Uh, it's, sorry, it's really successful. It has been a really difficult year for all of us because of the pandemic COVID-19. At the beginning of the outbreak, Slovenian government took straight but effective measures to control the spread of the coronavirus. So we spent a less worrying period of time in Slovenia this year. Comparing with many big cities and countries, I feel safer to stay in Slovenia and I managed to maintain my normal life till I flew back home successfully at the middle of May. And it's also an interesting and unforgettable experience for me. So in short, I think Slovenia is a very nice destination for study, living or traveling. And I do treasure my experience there and I would like to spend more time in Slovenia in the future. And that's all I want to share today. And thanks for your patience and wish you a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, another student is Zhang. So could I ask for a question? Hi. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, okay, thank you for inviting me to share my experience in Slovenia. Uh, I'm Zhang Reiqi from Beijing Foreign Studies University. Uh, I also majored in Slovenian language. Just as Mr. Wu has mentioned, I did spend a meaningful and pleasant time in Slovenia. Since Wu has introduced a lot, so I like to share some interesting and uh, unforgettable experience with you guys. Um, Slovenian language is my major, and it's also one of the reasons that I went to Slovenia for exchange. Uh, mostly, I have classes at Center of Slovenian Language. Um, class time, or I can even call it party time, is always cheerful and relaxing. We were sitting around in the classroom and express our thinking, uh, chat with each other and learn about different cultures. Every day class began with kindly greetings and ended with have a nice day. In this way, I felt really uh, relaxed uh, in, the class, in the class and with our professors. Uh, my classes were arranged from Monday to Thursday. But not on Friday. Uh, the language center always organizes some activities on Friday, like a short trip or a workshop. 
I learned a lot and enjoyed a lot by these activities. Therefore, I'm gonna to share some experience with you. Uh, the first one is visiting the National Assembly Building of Slovenia. We visited the meeting room and had a model discussion there, uh, just for fun. And also we visited the Great Hall. We sat at the second floor and uh, watched for a while, how does the parliament work daily? And here you can see the fresco, uh, the fresco of about Slovenian history. Uh, and in the lobby, there were many collections and uh, the sculpture dec decoration of the portal um, about all these artworks we were introduced and this helped me to know more about Slovenia and its history. Um, honestly, I got these pictures from the website because that time I was busy with visiting so I didn't take any. Um, next one on my list is a trip to Putui. Putui is one of the oldest cities in Slovenia and is famous for the carnival Kulentovanie. And it also had great wine. The guide showed us around the old castle as a museum of Kulentovanie. We had a couple of hours sitting by wonderful sights and tried several kinds of wine and enjoyed the local food with our new friends. Um, next one, we went to a small city near Ljubljana, Domžale. We took a very, very, very slow train to get there. We learned about the history of straw hat in Slovenia and the process of hat making. And we got the chance to weave the hat with the dried straw our, on our own hands. Um, another activity is also related to craft work. Before Christmas holiday, we had a workshop to make a um, make a wool felt Santa Claus. Here you can see the work of mine and my friends. I think we've done a great job. Um, I want to say that during all these activities, we were offered the introduction in two languages, Slovenian first and uh, then the English version, or only a slow Slovenian introduction. In this way, while I was learning about the history, I also get my Slovenian improved a little bit. Um, you can see that Slovenia is a small country, but it's charming and it has many symbols in culture, in history, and in the nature. Frankly, when I chose to learn Slovenian language, I only Googled it and found that, wow, Slovenia is a beautiful country. The island in Blade is lovely. But I, after I learned about it, I found Slovenia is much more than Blade or uh, much more than the wine. It's a pity for me that I didn't visit many interesting places last year. So I'm also looking forward to another wonderful experience in Slovenia. This is all I want to share today. Thank you all for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Hvala. Thank you very much to both students. You were truly a great ambassador for our country. And I believe you almost said everything I wanted to say. Uh, so at the beginning, uh, it's my pleasure to um, be here with you as a coordinator of Study in Slovenia initiative. Together with universities, uh, we will present to you briefly Slovenia um, and all the benefits and all the major higher education institutions. We are also happy to be part of the Study in Europe initiative. As you see uh, today, we are uh, live on their Facebook. Uh, because we work closely also together with them. Uh, so to begin with, um, my name is Maria and I will be guiding you briefly through uh, all the nice parts of Slovenia and then uh, universities will present themselves. Um, both students mentioned all of the things, like I said, but we are very proud of the country that we feel safe in. Uh, Slovenia is a very green place. It's small, but it's very uh, diverse. You have everything from rivers, lakes, to mountains, Alps. Uh, you can hike. We are a very active nation. Uh, we love to do sports for the weekends. If you have been following, uh, I don't know, from cycling to ski jumping, uh, we are uh, we're very, uh, we have done, you know, great successes. So uh, this proves that we are very active in sporting nation. 
Uh, we believe our quality of life is very high and also we mind for students and their quality of life and studies uh, in when they're here in our country. The higher education system is like most European ones. So we have six universities and around 50 higher education institutions covering most of the study fields and disciplines. So you really have a lot to choose from. Um, short cycle higher vocational education lasts normally like around two years. Uh, but then higher education is three to four, like you see, uh, for a bachelor, one to two for a master, and three years for doctoral studies. Um, you will see our, just the funny thing is here on the slide is uh, that our country, they always, they sometimes they say that we are like a hen, you know, the shape of a hen that you can see from this map that I put in. Um, so um, being a student, uh, like uh, Wu and uh, Zhang, they both said that uh, there's a lot of benefits to it because you have subsidies. Uh, you can also work as a student, get a few, you know, get some money from it. And uh, um, if time allows, you can study and work at the same time. Uh, of, well, we believe food is delicious. It's a variety uh, on student coupons that you can choose from. Many international students uh, appreciate the selection that you may, ha may have. Uh, and you, like uh, explained before, there are numerous possibilities to travel around uh, and see places within Slovenia and in the neighboring country um, countries. Uh, we universities mind and care very much for uh, integrating all international students into uh, Slovenia and the environment once you come here. Um, you have a lot of extracurricular activities. There are career centers at every university and you will have a lot of opportunities to develop personally and professionally, uh, making your transition into the world of work a little bit easier. For language courses, you can already start online. Even if you come from China, you can learn Slovene. There's no problem we hear. <laughs> it may be a little bit of a challenge. Um, but we do have free online courses and there's a lot of uh, universities where we have tutors. University representatives will tell you more about the year plus uh, to enabling you to integrate even more into our studies system. Um, what's also important and what's also the students said that you have a buddy or a tutor, uh, you know, making your life here once you come here a little bit easier. Of course, the quality of studies is something we are proud of. The fees are not as high as in some other countries. You can do a lot of uh, projects. You can take part in research or other kinds of projects. Um, the programs are mostly in Slovene, but we have a lot, quite a lot of programs also in English, particularly on a master and doctoral level. And we believe that there are no extra costs while you're studying, um, while you're here. Uh, and like you know, and the students have come with the program, you have the possibility to do exchange. Once you're enrolled here, you can do exchange uh, like Erasmus, which is now a program that is open to the whole world. So you can come, you can go to a, 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 any other country for a few months. Uh, but what is nice is also the international character. If you come here, you will truly get to know a lot of international uh, students from all over Europe and the world, and you will really have a nice community of students here. Um, so how do you come here? Well, we have a national online system for applications. This is one thing you need to know. It's called AVISHE. It's also on our website and on the university website. You still have time to think uh, and find the right program, which you can do also on our Study in Slovenia website, uh, where you have the whole list of study programs and institutions. The calls for next academic year will open in February, let's say, March. So you have a little bit of time and then the application process um, begins. So now I give the word to Katya and she will present our largest and oldest university. So Katya, please. 
Yes, hello again. Thank you, Maria. Maybe just before I continue with my presentation, uh, I would just like to ask participants if it's maybe any question for Wu and Zhang, because uh, I think they, they would like to go to bed now since there is midnight in China. So uh, you can ask us now uh, if there's any question from the participants. So if not, uh, I would like to thank you to Zank and Wu to join us. Uh, and uh, I wish you successful study and uh, to have uh, a good night. So now I will continue with uh, my presentation. Uh, as Maria mentioned, I'm coming from the University of Ljubljana where I'm responsible for promotion of study and for some support activities for international students, as well for collaboration with partners and within networks at the central level. So I will present you what can you study at our university and what can you expect as our students. Our university is located uh, in Ljubljana, uh, which is the capital of Slovenia. And I believe that Ljubljana is very pleasant and beautiful city to live in. Uh, we have many museums, uh, galleries, theaters, cinemas, and also one of the oldest Philharmonic Orchestra in the world. So the, the image of the city by the river with picturesque bright uh, bridges and markets was designed by our famous architect, Joze Plechnik. And the city is also surrounded by parks and protected areas of nature, which also allow you to hike in the nature. Uh, 40,000 students give the city very youthful appeal and there is also usually very varied offer of cultural and sport events, which ensures you that you simply cannot be bored in Ljubljana. In the city center, you can also find a lot of pubs, restaurants, clubs and shops. And Kongresni Turk uh, is uh, one of the central squares in Ljubljana, where is also city, uh, seat of the University of Ljubljana. Our university uh, has at the moment 26 members. We have three arts academies and 23 faculties, which covers all fields of study from art, fine arts, natural sciences, technology, medicine, health sciences, and sport. Most of our members are located in Ljubljana, except our Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport, which is located in Porto Roche. The central building, the rectorate, all three academies and some faculties are located in the city center, and some of the most recent and modern buildings were constructed on the outskirts of Ljubljana, which gives uh, the feeling that the university is all over the city. Uh, so uh, this year uh, we have more than 40,000 students enrolled at our university and among them we have 3,653 uh, international degree students. They are coming from approximately 100 countries. And uh, our university uh, also employs approximately uh, 6,000 employees, higher education teachers, researchers, assistants, and administrative staff. Our uh, researchers are actively involved in different uh, projects uh, and uh, they keep pace with the latest development in the areas of art, science, and technology at home and abroad. We also have close ties with Slovenian and foreign companies because we believe that it's very important transfer of knowledge to the economy. And uh, as our student, you will have opportunity to uh, collaborate in such projects. Here is information about our degree programs, which range across all fields of study and are internationally renowned, comparable and professionally attractive, which provides you good and varied international mobility of students and staff. We have accredited more than 400 degree programs, uh, which are of course not offered every year. This year we're offered 
365 degree programs at all level, bachelor, master, and doctoral. And uh, I would like to invite you to check our call for enrollment, which will be published in February for the next academic year. And then in the call for enrollment, you will be able to find all information about our degree program, enrollment requirements, language, duration, number of available places, and so on. So, um, if you're thinking to study at the doctoral level, I would just like to mention that it's important that you choose a mentor before enrolling and at least generally agree on the content of the doctoral dissertation and participation in research work. And help in choosing the right mentor can be provided by the coordinator of the individual degree program. Uh, according to Slovenian legislation, we have to organize all programs in Slovene, but we also offer some programs in English or other languages. And uh, we offer more than 800 subjects in English. This is not uh, relevant for the doctoral level because usually um, lecture seminars and practical work are carried out together on a smaller scale with consultations and in the event international students are enrolled the lectures and students settle the language for the lecturers so international students and mentors communicate in english or another agreed foreign language uh, due to the current uh, coronavirus pandemic, our daily life has changed significantly. So we have social distancing, limited travel, and also quarantine in some cases. And at the universities, I believe that we have quite successfully adapted to the situation and we are taking care of the smooth running of the study process. Uh, lectures are currently held online or in some cases combined in small groups. Um, and we have also prepared information packages for international students where they can find uh, some useful links and ideas to make it easier to get through this time. Maria already mentioned that we have an uh, online system uh, for uh, enrollment and recognition of foreign education. Here I would like to point out that matura or diploma is not required for applying, but is required for enrollment. And uh, usually international students do not have a qualified digital certificate or AAI account. Uh, and that's why it is important that when you apply in the EVASH, you have to print your application, sign it and send it uh, with register mail. This is important to send it with register mail within the deadlines, which will be listed on our website. And then you will receive uh, uh, a letter uh, with uh, information which required supplements must be sent uh, by register mail. This will be after the application. I also put some information regarding documents for recognition of foreign secondary education and we will also share this presentation with you. Here is information about tuition fee. Uh, you do not have to pay tuition fee if you are coming from EU countries, from countries with which Slovenia has concluded bilateral agreement. So Slovenia has concluded bilateral agreements with Bosnia and Herzegovina, Northern Macedonia, Montenegro, Kosovo and Serbia. Uh, you also don't have to pay tuition fee if you have scholarship of the Republic of Slovenia. If you have permanent residence in the Republic of Slovenia, you or your parents, guardians are taxpayers in the Republic of Slovenia. If you're coming uh, to Slovenia as an exchange student, and uh, if you are granted international protections or if you're applied for international protection. Fee, tuition fee is paid by all citizens of non-EU countries, except uh, uh, with those with which have uh, agreement, what I mentioned before. Also, it is paid by all students with already acquired uh, 
equivalent degree of education, if you decide to study part-time or if you decide to study at the doctor level, but here we have co-financing scheme. I see that Anna asked if we all have a bilateral agreement with the USA. No, unfortunately, we do not have bilateral agreement uh, with United States. So if you're coming here for a degree uh, study, you will have to pay tuition fee. So why study at the University of Ljubljana? Uh, we believe that an education acquired at our university will allow you to gain the knowledge, practical experience and skills you need to perform the diverse jobs of the future, wherever in the world you choose to work and live. And you will be taught the skills of managing your own career and you will be given the opportunity to establish contacts with potential employers. You will be also encouraged to get involved in numerous extracurricular activities, attend a series of additional education and training courses, and become a part of the vibrant international academic community. We will also provide you help and support in integrating into studies and life in Slovenia. So, as I already mentioned, mostly studies conducted in Slovenia, so students from foreign countries can attend various language courses for easier integration into the Slovenian environment and more successful study, as well as the possibility of the, joining the activity called Year Plus. Year Plus was specially designed to help you acquire language and other skills, expertise in your chosen fields of study, as well as the opportunity to familiarize yourself with the culture and history of Slovenia in general in your first year of bachelor or master studies at the University of Ljubljana. And it also allows you the extension of student status under certain conditions. If you do not decide to study at our university, you are welcome to join us at our summer school courses in an inspiring international environment. Uh, we offer over 40 summer school courses every year in various disciplines from economic and business sciences, law, chemistry, mathematics and physics to social work, pharmacy and technical sciences. And in case if you are not decided uh, what to study, you can make an appointment for personal online counseling upon prior arrangement at the platform called Papa. This is personal and professional development portal where you can also apply for events and search available vacancies. So you can apply already now uh, under section Diaki prospective students. Our Researchers, teachers and professors are involved in various research groups, projects and activities. They are participating in research for the development of a coronavirus vaccine. They are studying the regenerative abilities of the human fish, which could help us in medical treatment. Uh, then they are also successful in the field of robotics, cancer treatments in, with operation and other areas. So if you are interested, uh, you can check our project and research activities in our research news sections on the website listed above. In the cooperation uh, with foreign universities, we conduct interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary studies and we emphasize international exchange of students and staff. So we are actively involved in the international environment and as our students, you will have the opportunity to go on a study exchange or conduct practical training abroad. Of course, you're also welcome to join us as an exchange student if you do not decide to study at our university. As I already mentioned, we believe that students are the heart of our community and the motivation of our faculty of staff. And that's why we prepared uh, a section at our website. We can find students' impression, what students think about us. And some of uh, students, they also uh, wrote their email addresses and you can contact them for more information. Now, just at the end, uh, I would like to invite you to register and visit us at the Virtual Career Fair, where you will have the opportunity to meet with the representatives of the individual faculty and the academy. 
Uh, now the virtual booth is uh, enabling live broadcast during uh, this week from 23rd to 27 November, but also after the event, the booths with the content of the platform will be active and accessible for the next 10 months. Uh, here I would just like to point out that most uh, of the content is prepared in Slovene language. So, I would like to invite you to visit our website and uh, to check it well before application deadline in order to find out all necessary details about offer degree programs, application procedures, enrollment requirements, number of available places, fees, accommodation, visa regulation, and other relevant information regarding administrative procedures and living in Slovenia. So thank you for your attention and I wish you to stay safe and sound. If you have any question, please write us in the comment section, uh, Q&A sections. Now I'm giving uh, words to Stojan Primožić from the University of Maribor. Thank you, Katja, uh, and welcome to Maribor, which is our second largest city of Slovenia. Uh, that lies in the northeast of the country, very close to the Austrian border. Um, it's, a, it's a relatively small city if you compare it to other cities around Europe, but uh, still we have a lot to offer. So our university is the second largest, as I said, and we have approximately 13,400 students. Uh, and we offer all degree programs from uh, bachelor to uh, master and uh, PhD. So you can find everything and anything you want also at uh, our university. Uh, we cover fields from humanistics to technical sciences, medicine and health, healthcare sciences, natural sciences, social sciences, and so on. Uh, all of those are, are embedded in our 17 universities, uh, 17 faculties. Um, and as I said, our degree programs, uh, which are uh, high in quality and student, and we have a high uh, student satisfaction with them. Uh, I would like to mention that as a, as a foreign student, of course, if you come from the EU, EU uh, countries uh, uh, for, for um, undergraduate and master study programs, you don't pay tuition, but uh, you pay for uh, doctoral study programs. But we have a scheme, a, a scheme of a call in uh, Slovenia, which covers all public, all university, public universities in Slovenia. Uh, through that, you can apply and get a uh, scholarship uh, uh, founded, co-founded uh, for your uh, doctoral study programs uh, studies. Um, our faculties are mostly uh, situated in uh, uh, Maribor, uh, our city, but we have a few faculties also scattered around Slovenia because for people who live in other parts, it's maybe easier to reach uh, and we want to offer education to also other uh, people in Slovenia who want to study under our brand uh, and our university. So uh, there is a few of them uh, in other cities, as you can see in, on the map. Um, here is a list of our uh, faculties. As I mentioned before, there is 17 faculties with uh, almost all fields of study. Uh, so for detailed information about study programs, you can always then at the end, I will show you the link. You can uh, visit our website. Uh, but here, just to get an idea, uh, is a list of all our faculties. Uh, our, uh, some of our achievements and what we are proud of. Um, we were uh, the Times Higher Education World uh, University ranking placed us three years in a row as the best university of Slovenia. Um, we, we got the uh, International Student Satisfaction Award, which is, I think, one of the greatest achievements because if students are satisfied with your work and your institution, that's the that's the best uh, thing that can happen to you. Um, the Olympic Committee also gave us a certificate that we are 
a sports friendly university, meaning if you are a professional sports person uh, and you have trainings and other obligations, you can have your study process and your examinations uh, adjusted to your schedule and uh, you can still study and do your uh, professional uh, sports career. Mm. Uh, some of our projects, uh, which are also including students from our, uh, our faculties, um, these uh, projects enable students to participate in development of different things, different fields, and then uh, uh, with this uh, project, they strengthen their, they use, first of all, they use their knowledge that they gain in the study process, and then they try to use that in the process in the in the real life process. So hipster was one of uh, such projects. Uh, uh, um, uh, there was the development of electrical transport. Uh, student formula team is very popular among our students. It's uh, it's happening at the uh, Faculty of Mechanical Engineering um, and uh, they develop the formula car every year and uh, with it, they compete at other uh, with other uh, Formula cars uh, competitors from uh, from from Europe. Mm. An event that uh, was very uh, very highlighted this year was the first nano satellite that flew into space. So now we're also a, a space force, if I say so. Um, it was developed by the faculty of uh, in the corporation with the faculty of electrical engineering and computer sciences. Demola project is popular among students, which is uh, this project enables students to um, companies are having some some projects, some problems, and then students come in and try with together with the with the with the company that try to solve. Uh, the problem and come to a, a solution. So our uh, professors and our researchers are really very active in numerous projects, and they got uh, uh, with within uh, within the last year and also in the past they got numerous awards and also uh, uh, contributed to development of uh, many uh, important uh, events and uh, uh, researches. Um, Extracurricular activities at our university are also uh, a good way to get some extra knowledge if you are not satisfied with all that your study program uh, offers or if probably you want to just uh, broaden your knowledge and uh, we, we award you with uh, credit points for that, which can be added to your total credit points when you finish your uh, studies or if the study program that you're enrolled in uh, enables that, you can substitute um, an elective subject with one of the extracurricular uh, subjects. And those range from, in the, there is a wide range of uh, extracurricular uh, subjects. Uh, you can choose between sports, you can choose between other fields. So uh, there's, you can find uh, something for you that's, that, suits, that suits you. Um, why study at our university? So I mentioned already a few things like uh, the um, competition teams, the extracurricular activities, um, <clears throat> the, the link with economy as, like I said, with Demola project and other projects where you already during your studies uh, get a touch and feel how it feels like in the, in the real world. Uh, E-study materials and E-study, E-classrooms e are also a uh, constant at our university and also now in those corona times they they are even more present uh, because uh, we have to uh, adopt our study uh, process to the to the restrictions of uh, of the country we, you have of course as in other universities uh, um, the possibilities for students exchange either that's erasmus or any other program um, our career, career center is uh, quite developed and helps uh, students uh, like already in before they finish uh, their studies and then uh, after after they finish they still stay in touch and they organize also like a lot of uh, workshops roundtables uh, 
So it's very helpful in the process of uh, of um, getting in the in the in the workforce. Uh, tutoring system is quite developed. We have it for many many years. Uh, you can get a tutor already when you when, uh, when you are a freshman when you enroll. Either that's a student tutor or a professor tutor, and then with problems that you face during your studies, the tutor can help you, and um, it's easier than for you um, in the study process. Uh, we have a quite uh, high uh, graduate satisfaction, which is also very important because if our graduates say that they they enjoy it and they they valued their uh, time at our university and they gained a lot of knowledge for their work uh, for their work environment that's also some uh, achievement of us um, how can you apply to the university there here is just a small uh, small uh, scheme uh, uh, of the of the process but as uh, already my colleague mentioned, we have a unified system in Slovenia, so everything goes via Evershe, this online system where you apply, and then the, the process starts. And again, uh, you don't have to finish your high school or, or your undergraduate study if you apply for master's. Uh, when, you apply, when, you, when you register for, uh, for our university, so in the process then while you are while you are uh, finishing your your previous education, uh, the process is taking place, and then you present your diplomas or whatever in the end of the process. Uh, for the undergraduate studies, there is uh, some um, application periods. There are two application periods. I won't go uh, in detail because. Uh, first of all, the exact dates are not published yet, so they will be published soon. Uh, but just to get a feel, like the the months the months are uh, are accurate. So between February and March for for EU members, and then February and April for non-EU, and so on. Then for in the second application in August and September, and then again for postgraduate studies, you have the uh, the approximate approximate uh, deadlines and periods uh, written and listed here on this uh, slide. You can you also have to get like a recognition of your previous education if, if that's the case, but this is also done simultaneously while you apply for the for the university. Um, <clears throat> and as a conclusion, here is uh, our website, which you can uh, visit for more information, we have two emails if you're if you're interested in postgraduate studies or uh, undergraduate studies, <clears throat> we are also present on Facebook. Also on Instagram, it's not written there, but if you go on Instagram and search for University of Maribor, you will also find us. So this is from my part. I uh, hope that if you if you like the presentation, that you also go. Oh, okay. Uh, that you also go and find uh, our university webpage and find the study program that's suitable for you. And now <laughs> I will uh, uh, give my word to my colleague from the University of Primorska. Mitya. Yes. Hello. Hi, everybody. Sorry for that. This is Mitya uh, from the University of Primorska. I'm now on the Slovenian seaside as the university is located on the beautiful, although very short, uh, Slovenian coast. I'll do my best to not to repeat everything that has been already said and regards to all the universities in Slovenia. So I will talk uh, about the university. Well, here we have a nice picture of Piran, which is one of the cities where uh, we have our faculties. Uh, the University of uh, Primorska is the youngest university in Slovenia. And our goal is to become a modern and international European university with a strong research activity. Uh, this is why we are trying to develop mostly areas of research and study that are not already strong uh, in Slovenian institutions 
uh, like for example, in Ljubljana and Maribor, Maribor and uh, we do that with the support of um, IT, so information technologies. Here we have a map of the Slovenian coast. Uh, as said, it's very short. Is uh, we are close to the border uh, with Italy and to the border with Croatia. Uh, our faculties are actually located in three, uh, all three uh, towns on the Slovenian coast. This is Koper, uh, Izola, and uh, Firan. Well, Porto Roš. Uh, and our faculties uh, cover more or less uh, the areas of humanities, which means languages, history, geography, and so on, management and economy, natural sciences, information technologies, uh, education, health sciences, and tourism uh, studies. Um, here are some numbers. Uh, sometimes numbers do not tell us much, uh, but maybe the two, uh, uh, the two first data are important for you. 6,000 plus students, this is the number of students we have in this uh, uh, current academic year. I'd like to say uh, that uh, we are growing very fast and uh, in um, uh, last year actually we had 1,000 students less, which means that in this uh, problematical uh, 2020, we have been uh, successful because we got 1,000 more students. Uh, so that's that's good for us. It's a challenging period as well because having more students means for us also uh, more work. Uh, and another important data is actually the second one. Uh, on the university level, we have 25,000, 25% uh, of international students, so on total university, but on programs that include science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, the number of international students uh, is much higher and is now uh, 41%. Uh, as said, well, here we have some other numbers. Uh, this actually shows that uh, most of our students are on undergraduate studies, so on bachelor level. Uh, and um, I forgot to say that the presence of international students is so high because we are offering many uh, study programs in English language on all three levels, well, doctoral level, I believe all of our PhD programs are uh, offered also in uh, uh, English language, but uh, we have a nice number of uh, bachelor uh, programs that are offered in English uh, as well. Well, as said, one of the pillars of our vision is the international orientation of our university and of our study programs and our activities. We host many international conferences, workshops, scientific meetings. And of course, we offer to our students the possibility to study abroad uh, for one semester, for example, to, uh, to go uh, abroad and to participate to international projects and other activities. Um, in 2019, uh, on uh, multi-rank, uh, we have been selected as uh, one of top 25 performing universities in the field of international orientation of degree programs. And we are doing our best to get this badge once again in near in the future. As others have already said, there are, uh, I will skip this, uh -huh, there are no tuition fees for EU, uh, for students coming from EU countries and from countries uh, from the Balkans, uh, in tuition fees for uh, other students and for our international students can be found on our website, more or less, I would say for bachelor and uh, master uh, programs, tuition fee is around 3,000, 3,500 euros. Uh, it depends, of course, on the study program, uh, but more or less uh, the, the, the budget uh, for the year is this. It is but also true, and this is something that it's very interesting for you, that the University of Primorska has its own scholarship fund. 
and students enrolled uh, uh, can apply for a nice scholarship. It's uh, mostly meant for especially talented students, also a student very active in sport activities. Uh, the average grades, of course, should be high. So this is something uh, to consider at the very beginning of the year. The call is published every year already in June. So during the application period, actually just before uh, you are enrolled, uh, you can already have this, the information if you are going to receive the uh, scholarship or not. Uh, since we have a high number of international students and the uh, number is increasing every year, at the beginning of each academic year, we welcome students from abroad with a special program of three days uh, that includes paperwork, uh, knowing the faculties, knowing the area, the city, and so on, and advantages, uh, advantages of being student in Slovenia. Um, we, our uh, little and very precious helpers are our student tutors. So this is, this is usually uh, <clears throat> the time before the start of the uh, academic year when you get to know also uh, some new friends. And since we all know how stressful it is sometimes to um, uh, go to another country and start a new adventure uh, abroad, far from family, friends, and so on, we uh, offer accommodation in dormitories also for to our foreign students. So at least in September, you don't need to deal with uh, this. So in uh, trying to find an accommodation. Um, students at the University of Primorska are mostly very happy with their choice and satisfied with the study programs. Uh, usually they are very, they value a personal approach uh, and all our surveys show that they are very satisfied uh, with their decision. Uh, it actually, we manage uh, to, to achieve this because we still are a relatively small university and some faculties are very small. So classes, uh, we also have classes of uh, 20, 25 people. So the uh, relationship between uh, core years or with teachers, uh, it's, um, it's very good actually. And uh, we also offer uh, the possibility to enroll in year plus. Uh, which is actually uh, for the ones who, the international students who enroll in Slovenian, uh, in the programs that are offered in Slovenian language only. So during this year, students are focusing more on the study of the Slovenian language. And after this first year, they can re-enroll uh, in the first year without losing all the um, advantages they have uh, as students in Slovenia. So this is very nice uh, opportunity, but only for students who are enrolled in the Slovenian, uh, in programs that are offered in Slovenian language. Um, while studying at the University of Primorska, students can enjoy many sport and other cultural and other activities organized by the university, organized by student associations and student councils. Uh, we started this year, actually, we started this very nice project. It's, co it's called Sport UP. Uh, we have a very rich uh, program of sport activities for students and employees. Uh, and it's very flexible for students. Well, everyone is very satisfied with that. Advantages, so I already mentioned the international dimension of the university, uh, strong international research activity. Uh, we also have a lot of uh, professors uh, that come from abroad uh, and all uh, are uh, teaching in uh, programs that are offered in English language. And maybe this is the most important part that uh, uh, I'd like to share with you. Uh, we have a set in, uh, on English programs, also in, on undergraduate, un, undergraduate level, uh, mostly in natural sciences, a bit of management and in tourism enterprise management. In natural sciences, we have bioinformatics, computer science and mathematics. On master level, uh, more or less the continuation of those uh, undergraduate uh, programs. 
And uh, we also have a very nice international joint PhD program with the University of St. Andrews and a master, joint master, uh, um, joint master degree in, um, with the University uh, Lomonoso. Uh, this is uh, Moscow State University, Lomonoso. Uh, here is the list, but I believe you will have all those material posted also after this presentation, so I won't uh, spent much more time with you. Application procedure is uh, the same more or less for uh, all Slovenian universities. The code will be published at the end of January. Usually the terms, the deadlines are in from March on because there are uh, different uh, application terms. Uh, just follow uh, everything that is posted usually on websites, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We are, we are everywhere. A lot of information for so little time, but there's still one university that needs to be presented by Veronica. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mitya. Um, so I would like to present now the University of Nova Gorica which is located in a lovely sub-Mediterranean region in Western Slovenia, bordering Italy, a wonderful region rich in history, culture, natural beauties. Uh, you can see some of the natural beauties here, the beautiful um, Socha River Valley. Uh, on the right, uh, the picture represents a nice um, setting from our university vineyards and our students of viticulture and enology. And it also shows that we have a, a very long tradition in winemaking in our region, which we uh, actually carry on also by offering this kind of study program. In the middle, you've got a picture from a very interesting uh, place that's a common square shared by the town of Nova Gorica in Slovenia and the adjacent town of Gorizia in Italy. So this is something special in this part of Europe as well. If I move on, we are a young modern town um, welcoming and a safe study environment. And we are a small research oriented university founded 25 years ago. Actually, we celebrate our 25th anniversary this year and we're very proud of that. We are a public university, although not a state university. We were founded by the largest research institute in Slovenia and to local municipalities. So that's pretty unique in the Slovenian higher education uh, area. We have a very strong international character and we are proud to say that in this academic year we have already 55% of international students studying with us. Uh, and this percentage, as you can see from one year um, ago, is actually rising. Uh, and this gives us uh, very nice diversity. And um, uh, yeah, you, you hear a lot of uh, languages from uh, different countries uh, spoken in our lecture rooms and corridors. Locations of our schools, well, we have three main campuses. They are located quite um, close to each other and they are easily reached from all the locations. And about our study programs, uh, our School of Engineering and Management uh, offers a very promising program engineering and management plus the newly introduced leadership in open education. The School of Environmental Sciences, you can study environmental sciences, another promising and interesting field, which is always popular. At the School of Science, we are proud to say that we are getting more and more students to study physics and astrophysics and also material sciences with us. Both of them are again promising fields in terms of employment. Plus, I have already mentioned the School of Viticulture and Enology carrying on the tradition of uh, winemaking in a wider uh, cross-border part of uh, Europe. The School of Arts offers a BA in Digital Arts and Practices and uh, Media Arts and Practices on the master's level. At the School of Humanities, you can study either cultural history, Slovene studies, 
or uh, digital humanities, another new field, which is maybe not that well known, but again, very interesting. And we, we believe it will develop further. Again, uh, another interesting point is also our joint study program, European Master in Migration and Intercultural Relations, where you spend your first semester in Germany, the next one in Norway, and then the third and the fourth one at the chosen university, either somewhere in Europe or, of course, in Nova Gorica, Slovenia, or even at one of the African universities involved in the project. We also offer um, doctoral study programs. So this is our offer. Uh, you can also check it on our website. So I won't go into details. I would like to focus on the advantages of studying with us. We have about uh, 420 students currently that gives us the opportunity to work very um, in a very individual way and in small groups. So. Uh, we dedicate our time to the students. Our doors are always open. We are, we are um, totally, let's say, accustomed to the situation that students simply knock on our doors and uh, yeah, we dedicate our time to them, no problem. Plus our study programs are very practically oriented with lots of practical placements, projects and so on. Uh, so the students can get in touch with their future employers, not only gather experience. And we are proud of those 92 plus percent of graduates who uh, managed to find a job within one year after graduation. So that's very, uh, very promising data. You have excellent opportunities for engaging in research and projects, of course, if you wish to, if you are motivated. Our doors are open. Other activities and events that we offer, well, we have lots of them. Since we are a formally registered European Talent Point, we have lots of different activities for motivated students, like scientific evenings. Uh, we can include you into conferences other events and so on. Of course, you can take part in student mobility programs. We always encourage everybody to take that opportunity and get new opportunity to learn things. I've already mentioned um, the European talent point and uh, we have various student projects that are actually dedicated just to the students and to the young generation in general from our region and broader. One of them is the Go Chile project. Together with the Spica Astronomy magazine, we are constructing the first Slovenian telescope in Chile, which will be used solely for educational purposes. We are an athletes friendly university. We have athletes of different disciplines studying with us. Again, because we are small, we are flexible, we can adapt and the student athlete status brings you lots of benefits and tailored modes of study. Plus we have uh, lots of e-learning opportunities, which is uh, of significant importance in this COVID-19 affected period. Right now we are practicing um, distance learning, so our teaching process uh, has not stopped. It has been adapted, everything is carried out online, so it's a continuous process. Uh, plus, of course, online opportunities for learning are um, very much suitable for not only athletes, but also all sorts of students who may not have that much of time, maybe on a daily basis, they have maybe demanding jobs or families and so on. So we are very flexible with that. Uh, I think we've already covered all the general benefits of studying in Slovenia, which are compatible with these uh, benefits of studying at UNG, like no tuition fees for lots of study programs, no entrance exams, especially except for specialized studies like at the School of Arts, then free Slovenian language courses. And uh, well, uh, perhaps we are, we are special in that respect that uh, no preliminary knowledge of Slovenian is required to enter our study programs. Um, 
perhaps this is, let's say, um, a benefit, but of course we do recommend studying the Slovenian language because it will be easier for you. You will integrate much faster into the local environment. Enough student accommodation facilities, for sure, favorable prices, and we have already mentioned subsidized student meals and transport, transport and student job opportunities. Actually, we encourage students to have jobs. Um, well, they, of course, they should study uh, at the first place, but still through a student job, they can get experience and also practice language and of course get new contacts. We are proud of our uh, rankings, although we are very small, we are proud of the latest round university ranking. We've been placed on the, 20, on the 201st place in the world. And uh, we like another conclusion of the European University Association evaluation five years ago which has concluded that they have found a small, young, active and enthusiastic university with happy and satisfied students. And this is what we would like to remain, a small university dedicated to the students, like a kind of boutique university with individual approach. And we believe that the students get the most of uh, their studies in this way. So hopefully they are satisfied, and that the knowledge serves them well in the future. You are more than welcome to contact us if you have questions, follow our social media and our website. Um, the application calls for the next academic year have just been published on the website. So um, yeah, feel free to take a look. This was all for me. Uh, so now um, I'll pass the word on to the rest of the members to go maybe th uh, through the Q&A section and there's still time for you to pose questions. Thank you very much. Bye bye from Nova Gorica. Thank you. thank you, Veronica, and thank you to Stoyan, Mika and Katia and our wonderful students, of course. Uh, we believe we have uh, pr provided for a lot of information. Uh, now we will give you the time to reflect, uh, to think of the right study program and the right institution where you want to study and live. Uh, so with this, I would like to conclude this webinar. You have our contacts. You're welcome to write. We were answering the questions on Facebook as well. And uh, we also answered the questions within this webinar in Zoom. Uh, so uh, once this is finished, you will uh, get the recording. We will make it available on our Study in Slovenia website. So you are more than welcome uh, to visit us there. Uh, so thank you very much for being with us. And uh, we wish you all the best. And um, stay well and stay safe.